Good morning, hello there, and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. This is Justin Mott, and now it's time for your local and area news. Well, go, 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 San Augustine Wolves. Congratulations to the Wolf Pack on their win yesterday evening. They won their season opener game versus Big Sandy, 28-6. And speaking of football, high school football action gets kicked off this evening for the Center Rough Riders and our other local and area teams. The Center Rough Rider football game is going to be this evening on KDET 930 AM. And they're going to have a home game tonight versus the Tatum Eagles. That's going to be at 730 PM this evening. Broadcasting the game will be Rob Payne and Chris Watlington, and also on this station, KQBB 100.5 FM, is going to be the Shelby County Game of the Week tonight at 7.30 p.m. with Don Wall. He's going to be covering the Shelbyville game as they take on Beckville this evening. Some other local games, Troop will be playing at Tenaha tonight at 7.30, Hemp Hill tonight at Timpson at 7.30, Joaquin at Deweyville this evening at 7, and Logansport at Jonesboro Hodge at 7 p.m. this evening. Now, Garrison has had a time schedule change. They are going to be playing on Saturday versus Tyler T.K. Gorman at 7.30 p.m., but they're going to be playing at Tyler Grace. In other news, there was a car wreck recently in Sabine County. According to the Texas Department of Public Safety, a one-vehicle crash occurred on August the 29th on State Highway 21, just east of Gatsby NZ Cemetery Road. The crash investigation shows that around 8 p.m., the driver of a 2018 Buick SUV, identified as 39-year-old Demarcus Till from Fort Worth, was fleeing from law enforcement after a traffic stop. During the flight from law enforcement, he drove off the road way to the right and struck multiple trees and injured himself. He was transported by a medical helicopter to Nacogdoches Memorial Hospital for treatment. The bowl water notice for the Sand Hills water supply has been lifted. Once again, the bowl water notice for the Sand Hills water supply has been lifted. And now it's time for agriculture in East Texas. This week we met with Mr. Lane Barton with the K.L. Barton Ranch in Garrison, Texas, and he told us what agriculture means to him. Uh, for me and my family, it, it uh, for me particularly, it's a it's a way of life that involves your family in uh, in making a living from the, the the Lord's blessings, which is the land and the, the resources of it, and uh, that's very important to me. And hope it is that we instill that into our our children and grandchildren as well. And so I have uh, I have two sons, and then they have children as well, and, and uh, uh, hopefully I can afford them and give them an opportunity uh, to do the same thing if they so wish and feel led to do that. So it's uh, not just a way of living, but it's a way of life, and, and that way of life is very important to have your family, my family involved in it for me particularly. And for more news, be sure to check out our website at cbc-radio.com. That's cbc-radio.com. This has been Justin Mott with your local and area news, encouraging you to go out and be amazing. cbc-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go.